This is because the 37 years of Museven that account for more than half of Uganda's independence have undermined the country's statehood and reduced the population to captives or into captives. Uganda, a country endowed with natural resources, the highest amount of rainfall in the world, and fertile soils, at 60 years still exports more girls to work as house girls to the Arab world than coffee. At the time of our independence, coffee was the main source of foreign exchange. And all these girls who are going to these countries have harrowing stories to tell. In fact, if it were not for visa and other requirements, the whole population would have abandoned Uganda to Mr. M7, his family and regime beneficiaries. But people are still inhabited by visa and other requirements to get out of the country. I, I guess some of you here, you'll also be on your way if there are no requirements to countries of your choice. At Entebbe Airport, planes every day filled with young girls, freeing economic hardships, leave Uganda. Yet Mr. Seven and his wife are allocated 677 billion shilling at State House, which is their residence, annually in the budget. 